Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. My name is Jitain Palaparthi. I'm a technologist. I work on Go, Rust, microservice architecture, Docker, Kubernetes, Kafka, and then a lot of DevOps tools, platform engineering related stuff, SRG, and also application development. Uh, I'm more into programming and then working with these tools, uh, particularly in the cloud arena, uh, microservice based architecture, etc. So I speak to many folks. Uh, you can have a look at my LinkedIn profile on the screen. <clears throat> I speak to many folks. Uh, people take guidance from me. Uh, uh, people speak to me about technologies and all. I deliver almost, I think, 500 plus training so far. All of them are corporate trainings. One question I repeatedly get from many of my uh, friends or colleagues or even the students who has uh, who have attended the training they ask can you please explain about Kafka uh, we, there are many videos about Kafka but we would like to know Kafka from your way of uh, training uh, so I thought actually okay make a videos series of videos on Kafka uh, for using go programming language as well as the rust programming language there will be uh three four videos for go and then another two three videos for rust and i also would like to cover a uh, red panda uh, red panda is we can say a flavor of kafka it's not a flavor of kafka it is a uh, completely a uh, implementation from the scratch using c plus plus okay uh they kept maintain the outlook of kafka they have not disturbed the protocols that kafka used the way how kafka internal workings of kafka similar to kafka but the entire implementation is done using c plus plus so it is naturally very high performer than kafka since kafka was developed using java the kafka has been developed using java fine so this is the series uh, for the folks who are really interested to know kafka from the uh, developer's perspective and uh, here and there we will go little in depth into uh, a devops perspective or a person who wants to manage kafka a little bit of definitely not exactly managing the kafka cluster but you know the basics of kafka you understand how kafka work that is that's what i'm i'm very much sure about it so what is kafka that's my first question you will come across uh, you may be asked a question what is Kafka uh, before going to know about Kafka you also should know about events actually event streaming platforms okay uh, you need to know something called distributed event streaming platform events are everywhere okay uh, every application that you consider there are events okay microservice architecture there are events okay a, a customer has been added to the system or an item has been purchased in the system or you know someone has sent a message on your whatsapp a group is created a group is you know archived uh, or something everywhere there are events events are everywhere or events may be uh, uh, from the uh, IoT devices. Maybe there is a uh, you know temperature uh, meter uh, somewhere in your geyser or somewhere or in, inside your AC. Then automatically mm. uh, you send some event. You you send some message. You get a notification into your mobile that you know. Uh, the AC is currently the state of the AC is this then you would like to switch it on or switch it off or whatever you want to perform some action based on the decision. event is everywhere so basically Kafka is a distributed the word distributed is very important event streaming platform that means there is a flow of events event contains data event contains generally when you talk about an event event contains time and data okay 
a time and with some payload actually something has happened at this particular time what is that something that something is what the actual data is that's what event is event streaming platform that means it's a flow of events that happens generally kafka is used for that distributed means kafka handles it in a multiple servers uh, the the event streaming information is distributed across multiple servers we can we can call it as distributed okay the load is distributed so these events contains real time data uh, real time data pipelines maybe a iot device is kept on sending information or a truck is kept on sending its uh, tracking information uh, uh, geospatial information to kafka server etc the data may go through some pipelines right for the streaming application why pipelines because each when the data pass through pipeline it may be some process can happen in the data maybe certain things gets aggregated certain things and in a in an order uh, certain things you know may be altered and then processed which we call it as a process and send it again there is there are it's a pipeline and kafka is specially designed to work with large volumes of data we are talking about terabytes of data okay uh, maybe terabytes is even less nowadays because the enormous amount of data is being generated and then sent to various systems but however okay large volumes of data with high throughput throughput means it can handle large volumes of data with low latency latency means uh, it can it can perform process the data uh, in a uh, with a low latency that means with very fast okay for example you know you need to know the difference between the throughput and latency for example for example uh, mercedes manufactures 100 cars a day and uh, to manufacture each car mercedes takes for example four hours to manufacture each car mercedes takes four hours is the latency i don't know exactly mercedes how many hours it takes but as i said example that four hours is the latency and mercedes has got an equipment and the factory and the and the workers an entire setup to manufacture 100 cars a day which is called the throughput so always the throughput should be high at a higher number and then latency sh latency should be at a lower number okay it's a lesser number it should be smaller number fine uh, kafka is developed for high throughput and then low latency that's uh, one of the very important thing kafka started in linkedin developed by linkedin and uh, it was open sourced and then now it is in the under the apache software foundation so it can be used the open source vanilla kafka can be used as a commercial version as well by anybody it is donated to apache kafka of apache software foundation right yeah so some of the key features of kafka before going to deep dive into the internal architecture of kafka it's good to know at least why kafka why not other platforms you know when you look at the similar platforms uh, we have apache pulsar uh, there is nats which is developed using golang nats uh, there is RabbitMQ, uh, there is ActiveMQ, nowadays even Redis is being used as a message broker as well. Uh, yeah, the, the, there are quite a few number of NSQ is also there, uh, message brokers there. But why Kafka stands out among the all? Why Kafka is considered one of the best, uh, the best, not one of the, the best uh, message brokers is actually we don't call it as a message broker or a message queue we can call it as a yeah event streaming platform because the features of kafka are not available in any other platform it has got a distributed architecture as i said earlier distributed means which is which can be used for the scalability you can scale it up 
vertically or horizontally because there will be more nodes more servers more state machines or more brokers we can use any word and then fault tolerance fault tolerance means uh, it can tolerate to the failures because in a distributed system any one of the servers or the brokers is or failed any one of the broker is failed then automatically it doesn't interrupt the services okay it is highly available because of its distributed nature okay so it is fault tolerance is one of the key features of uh, kafka automatically all other nodes or brokers can handle uh, uh, the load actually okay which is fault tolerance okay it is taller it it can tolerate the failure of uh, uh, some nodes we will discuss about it. it's uh, something called a leader election kind of a raft algorithm consensus algorithm it's based on a leader election it forms a quorum uh, there is a concept for that uh, possibly we will see later on but at a high level okay so it is distributed high throughput as i said earlier what the throughput throughput is earlier high throughput for processing processing the data is entirely sending uh, different than publishing the data publishing the data is always a raw data processing the data means there is some computation happens once the data is published which we call it as a process publish the data or produce the data or publish the data you publish the data to the server but process the data means the data is uh, uh, read and then maybe something gets added something gets deleted something gets altered some aggregators comes into the picture like count or sum or average or medium or mean whatever that's what the processing it can process the large amounts of uh, streaming data okay that's one of the features of kafka the other thing is durability with data replication the data can be replicated in kafka what is the use of data replication is because of the fault tolerance one of the data, uh, uses of data replication if the data is replicated across multiple brokers which are nothing but servers then yeah uh, it can tolerate the failure because the data is available in other servers durability means the data can be persisted for some time generally message queues if you look at rabbit mq and all there is it doesn't contain the persistent layer messages comes and then messages go okay once they are read once they are consumed then messages would not be available in message queues but kafka maintains the durability retention policy with also along with the replication the retention policy is very very important because messages are retained uh, for some duration basically i think for default is seven days yeah and real-time streaming for analytics you know what the meaning of data analytics performing analysis on the data and even driven application you know you have some data that is already there in the database uh, you know performing analysis on the data is comparatively easy but when there is a even uh, streaming data the data is coming kept on coming then performing analysis on that particular data is quite hard okay real-time streaming for analytics and event driven applications kafka is really uh, uh, really pretty good okay that's what actually the what apache kafka is basically just an introduction to apache kafka okay 